Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on simultaneous equations. This is the harder version of simultaneous equations. Is A star at GCSE or is on the core one A level uh, syllabus? So let's have a look at this question. It says solve 2x plus y equals 1 and x squared plus y squared equals 1. Well, we know this is more difficult than the previous video because we have these um, squares in the question, whereas in the previous one, it was all just x's and y's. Anyway, we're going to follow the same rule. We're going to call the first one number 1 and the second one number 2. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange number 1. So number 1 is 2x plus y equals 1. I'm going to change that so it says y equals. So to do that, I'm going to take the 2x over to the other side. So we end up with y equals 1 minus 2x. So I've rearranged number 1, and I've come up with the equation y equals 1 minus 2x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute that in to the second equation. So where I see this y here, I'm going to write 1 minus 2x. So we're going to do this by substitution. So equation number 2 becomes x squared plus, well, where it says y, we're now writing 1 minus 2x squared, and that equals 1. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write this term here as a double bracket, because 1 minus 2x squared um, can be written as two brackets. It can be written as 1 minus 2x, 1 minus 2x equals 1. That's just a way of me helping now that I can expand it properly. So now we're going to expand and simplify this. So we still have an x squared plus. Now when we expand this, we've got 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus 2x will give us minus 2x. Minus 2x times 1 is minus 2x again. And be careful with the last bit. Minus 2x times minus 2x. Well, that will give me plus 4x squared equals 1. If you need help expanding that double bracket, I have a video on expanding double brackets previous. Now I'm going to simplify this a bit. I'm going to collect all the like terms. So I have 1x squared here and 4x squared here. So that will give me 5x squared. I've got minus 2x here. I've got minus 2x again here. That will give me minus 4x. Then I have a plus 1. And that equals 1. Now, what we tend to have to do on these sorts of questions um, when we're solving this, so I want to solve this, a quadratic, is make it equal 0. So we're going to take away a 1 from both sides. That will make it equal 0. So that will give me 5x squared minus 4x, because the takeaway 1 will cancel out, equals 0. So from this stage, if I now go up here, so you can see the rest of my working out, from this stage, I need to factorise it. Well, the only way I can factorise that is by taking an x outside, and I'll have x, 5x minus 4, equals 0. So I've factorised it, and I'll get two answers. My first answer is the x outside, so that must be x equals 0, to make it equal this 0 here. The second answer is when this bracket equals 0, so 5x minus 4 equals 0. So add 4 to both sides. You'll get 5x equals 4. Divide them both by 5 now to find out what x is. x equals 4 over 5. So my two answers for x are x equals 0 and x equals 4 over 5. So I'm halfway there now because I still need to find my y answers. So the way we're going to find our y answers that go with the x answers is by substituting the x values into this first equation. So when I substitute x equals 0 into that first equation, I will get, well, 2 times 0 is 0, so I will get y equals 1. So one of the answers is when y equals 1 and x equals 0. That's one answer. The second answer is what happens when I substitute x is 4 over 5 into this first equation. So when x is 4 over 5, we'll get 2 times 4 over 5 plus y 
equals 1. Well, 2 times 4 over 5 is 8 over 5 plus y equals 1. Well, it's better here if I write 1 as a fraction with 5 at the bottom. So if I rewrite 1 as 5 out of 5, because that's a whole, 5 out of 5 is a whole, then I'll have fractions both with 5 at the bottom. So I can take away 8 over 5 on both sides. And I'll be left with y equals minus 3 over 5. So my second answer is y is minus 3 over 5 and x is 4 over 5. So there are my two answers for this question. So that's how to solve an A star simultaneous equation or one which will come up on your A level paper. It involves quite a lot of skills because you have to be able to expand double brackets, you have to be able to factorise quadratics and use it to solve a quadratic. If you're stuck on any of the previous parts of that, hopefully my other videos will help you with those steps. Here's a practice question for you to have a go at. Good luck.